Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you excited this morning? <laughs> hey, Jan, how's it going? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, we're on our way to Grace Life Fellowship this morning. We are pumped. Me and Jan did our 10 miles this morning. Hallelujah. On our bikes, and we listened to the word, and man, we got ourselves so excited we can hardly stand it. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, you know what? I'm just going to sing a little song because I feel like it. <laughs> I'm living in Jesus, and he lives in me, his Holy Spirit. He has given to me the Heavenly Father won the victory. I'm living in Jesus and He lives in me. You know, Jesus said, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done. Amen. Glory to God. He's talking about the communion he's talking about living in the reality that god lives in amen hallelujah it's let me tell you something man you can feel like you're totally out of your mind when you're living in the logic of god hallelujah and you know i think sometimes i've said this before you can sound like a broken record but you know what this that I'm talking about, this logic of God, which I had never heard of before anywhere until I heard it through Bertie, Bertie Brits. Uh, he's Dynamic Love Ministries out of South Africa. And uh, Pastor Greg Henry, uh, Gospel Revolution Church in Slidell, Louisiana. You can get both of their websites on YouTube. Uh, let me tell you something. This is like, this is it. Amen. Glory to God. And I just keep meditating on this and meditating on this. And I'm so excited as I share this truth with people that this truth is resonating in their heart even when it doesn't make sense to the natural mind, you know, it's bearing witness with the spirit, you know, because we have the spirit of truth, okay? And so when you hear the truth, it's it reminds me of when uh, Mary made her salutation to her cousin Elizabeth and uh, John the Baptist jumped in her womb, amen, <laughs> because she had just come in contact with the Christ that was in the womb of Mary. And you know what? It was just like John just leaped in the womb. Amen. And so even when your mind don't get it, when you've got the Holy Spirit on the inside of you, it just resonates that this is the truth. I mean, this is like, it's like mind blowing because it's so good that the carnal mind can't believe it. It's like, oh, come on, get out of here. This can't be true. It's too good. But you know, that's what gospel means. It means almost too good to be true news. Amen. And you know what? Man could not come up with this because um, it's, it's far above him. Amen. Only God could come up with such a plan that is all you got to do is listen to a message listen to the truth of what god believes and it will totally blow your mind turn you upside down and inside out and you know i want to go back to ephesians 3. this is so important because you know this is what paul prayed for the church of ephesus and this is what we all need to pray he says, For this cause I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom 
the whole family in heaven and earth is named you know that's surnamed you know we have received his name amen praise God you know when you get married you receive your husband's name amen praise God we were in Adam married to the false wisdom that came from the serpent but glory to God Jesus divorced us from that belief system in the cross of Jesus Christ amen he put an axe to the root of the tree so that we are divorced from that belief system so that we could be married to another even Jesus Christ hi there brother Ante God bless you and now we're married to Jesus we've got his name so you can call me Mrs. Jesus amen you're Mrs. Jesus glory to God and it says so the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant unto you according to the riches of his glory that word glory doxa is the good view and opinion of your Heavenly Father your Heavenly Father thinks you are absolutely wonderful oh my goodness if we can just get that logic in us our hearts will go to rest and we will just bask in the love of God amen that he would grant unto you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit amen the power of his spirit glory and depth I got somebody calling me so it's messing me up uh, Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth the length the depth and the height and to know the love of Christ oh what does this mean to know the love of Christ hey Josie God bless you my love to know the love of Christ to experience this love this love is the life that is in the Godhead in Father Son and Holy Spirit and we have been invited into this union and he's given us his spirit that we can join in this fellowship with the Father and the Son through the power of the Holy Spirit that we may be able to comprehend that we may be able to experience this love that the Father has in himself toward us and when the light comes on and we can see ourselves according to the way the Father sees us that same love is born in our heart and it just explodes and it just makes you want to love everybody amen and there's no partiality you will not you will not have any reservation you could care less so it is it's just like listen let me just let me just love you amen this is just you you are born of this love glory to God and so Galatians Galatians in uh, chapter 2 I want you to understand something you can only experience this through the faith of Jesus Christ you can only experience this life that I'm talking about through the logic that came to us in Jesus Christ remember Jesus is the Word of God hallelujah Jesus is the Word of God the logos the logic the mind of God and he was wrapped up in human flesh and presented to us and the very word that he spoke was the very mind of his father and so the only way that we can feel this justification of heart the only way we can experience what God believes about us is through listening to the word that was presented to us in Jesus Christ this brand new logic this brand new way of thinking hallelujah and Galatians 2 16 says this Paul says 
knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. This justified, justified is, to be justified is to have the emotion of equality with God where there's no uh, guilt or shame or you don't feel any intimidation but you can look face to face with the Father and is all you see when you see look into his eyes is all you can see is his love towards you amen oh glory to God that in itself is a mouthful that you can look into the eyes of Jesus Christ and is all you see is his great love for you hallelujah no condemnation no guilt no shame oh glory to God and it says you can never be justified or feel the way that I just explained to you by anything you can do you can't experience this this by the works of the law but by the faith of Jesus Christ and you know I've said to you before that word faith it's a persuasion it's a logic it's a vital principle and I looked it up this morning and it says truth itself truth itself good morning Mona God bless you my beloved so this faith of Jesus Christ is the very truth itself so you can never feel this emotion of equality and not any sense of shame condemnation and guilt you can never get that through what you do you can only get it by the faith of Jesus Christ which is the logic of Jesus Christ which is the very mind of God it is the truth of what God believes and you the only way that you can ever be justified and feel totally innocent before God is to believe the faith the logic the vital principle truth itself that was presented to us in Jesus Christ hey joy God bless you my beloved hallelujah and Kelly I think it was Kelly I can't see it anyway praise God so you can only be justified by the faith of Jesus Christ even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we may be justified by the faith of Christ okay glory to God hallelujah and by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified so what this is saying is there is there are two wisdoms there's the wisdom that came into the world through Adam from believing the lie of the devil okay if you eat this you'll be just like God that was a big crock okay they were already like God but the minute they ate that oh my goodness their eyes were open to a different wisdom and now their life in paradise with God was finished they no longer could commune uh, feeling no sense of guilt or shame or nakedness and now when God calls they're hiding they're trembling they're afraid they feel miserable amen but praise God Jesus came to divorce us from that wisdom and give us the wisdom that was always in the father from the beginning God knows us not after the flesh but after the spirit that whole law system came into this world through Satan God had nothing to do with it as a matter of fact as I was uh, meditating this morning the scripture came to me in 1st Corinthians 13 that says love does not keep account of the wrongs done love does not keep account of the fault 
But we have been fed a pack of lies for, for so many years, I believe, that, you know, one day when I get to heaven, God's going to roll a videotape of my wretched life and embarrass me in front of all of heaven. Look at how the name of God has been blasphemed. Hallelujah. Amen, Josie. We're only created for the Father's truth. And, you know, I mean, look at how the Father's name has been blasphemed. That we've been propagating that God is going to bring all of our iniquities before us, before all of heaven. And yet, the scripture says, love doesn't keep account of the fault. And here, the God of all love, amen, he's altogether lovely, altogether beautiful. There's no darkness in him. We accuse him that he's going to do this and make people fearful. You know what? That is religion. Religion motivates people by fear. Get them to obey through fear. That has never been God's MO. Amen. God has never operated like that. It's altogether love. Amen. And he says, he says in 1 John, uh, John says, perfect love casts out all fear. Fear is not of God. Fear is of the enemy. And when we come to know how perfectly our Heavenly Father loves us, man, we won't be afraid anymore. You know why? Because we see him as he truly is. He's lovely. He's wonderful. He's full of love. And guess what? He's on our side. Amen. And so, that scripture in uh, Galatians 2.16 says, you know, by the works of the law, by the strength of your hand, you can't do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Only through believing what Jesus Christ has revealed, the truth itself, which is called the faith of God, or the faith of the Son of God, or the faith of Jesus Christ. And the Apostle Paul says, he said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. I'm dead. I died. I was crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live, I live the, the life that I now live in the flesh, the life that I now live in this human body, I live by the faith or the logic or the truth itself, which is found in Christ Jesus. That's my new logic. That's my new mainspring. That's my new identity. I'm going to call this message, Christ, my new eye. Yeah. I used to find my identity in what I did. Now I find my identity in Christ. I was married to the law of sin and death in Adam. But Jesus put an ax to the root of that tree and divorced me from my genealogy in Adam and has placed me in himself. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you know, I was listening to Greg this morning. I've listened to this message so many times. Uh, it is, what is the name of that message? It is being filled with all the fullness of God. And um, he's saying how that when we receive Christ, when we believe the gospel, we receive the person of Jesus Christ. Amen. Living in the resurrected truth of Jesus. Amen, Josie. Isn't this life great? Glory to God. And uh, he says, but you know, you can receive Jesus Christ, but not have the mind of Christ, not have the wisdom of Christ dwelling in your heart, like Paul prayed for, to the, for the Ephesians, the Christ would dwell in your heart by faith this new logic and um, 
a scripture came to my mind this morning that now really makes sense and that's in Galatians 4.19 where the Apostle Paul now the Ephesians were born again I mean they would receive Christ amen but they did not have the logic that Christ had and it says my little children this is in Galatians 4.19 my little children of whom I travail in birth again. See, he travailed in birth for them that they would receive Christ. But now he's saying, I travail in birth again until Christ be formed in you. The very logic of Christ be dwelling in your heart. Colossians says, may the word of Christ dwell in your heart richly that this will be your brand new logic from where you reason from amen and I was telling Jan this morning as we were biking I said you know in Proverbs 4 um, the Lord tells us to guard our heart for out of it comes the issues of life the very springs of life and you know I for 34 years I was a legalist and I used to guard my heart and you know I guarded my heart of such teaching of what I'm teaching right now because to me the law was the truth and I guarded my heart if anybody said to me you know we're not under the law but we're under grace I would have rebuked him. Amen. And I was guarding my heart. I thought I was guarding my heart with the truth in my heart. But the truth of the matter was the fox had already come into the hen house and now I'm guarding him from getting out. I was protecting my heart and my heart was filled with the lie. And so only God, only God could open my eyes. And I had to have a divine, I had to have a divine intervention by Jesus for him to open my eyes. I was so thick-headed. But then when I saw, oh my goodness, now I've got the truth. I've got the truth in my heart, and now I guard my heart against the lie. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, in Romans um, 5, Paul said, Therefore, now in chapter 4, he was talking about um, Abraham being justified and... Um, he says, and it, you know, it weren't just for him, but it was for us, okay? Um, and it says, therefore, being justified, that state of innocence, this comes by faith, by the logic that is in Jesus Christ. Being justified by faith, having this brand new logic, giving me this sense of no inferiority, sense of innocence my dad loves me we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ I mean only through Christ can you get this revelation by whom also we have access an entrance by faith by this new logic into the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. You know, the whole world's standing in grace. Right now, we are living in, we are living in the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. The year of grace. Amen. Glory to God. And so, every human being on the face of this planet, God sees innocent. But you know what? They need to believe what God believes about them because other world, otherwise it's like what good is it 
if they don't believe it. They're still in darkness. They're still in darkness until the light of the glory of God is shone into their hearts. The light of this glorious gospel that they may be saved. Amen. I heard Greg say, you know what? You don't have to believe this. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved and live this whole life without this logic. And I'll tell you what, it's a life of hell. It is a life of hell. And hell comes from Hadass, which means not to see. My goodness. I don't want to go through life not seeing. Amen. The scripture says that he that says he loves God and hates his brother is in the darkness and he can't see where he's going. Amen. That guy, that guy that says he loves God, you know, he's got some religion. He might have been taught some things about God, but he's not living in the life of God because the life of God is a life of love. And guess what? You can't find hate in your heart when you're filled with the love of God. Amen. Okay, kids. Well, that's about it. Um, I just pray that, you know, you keep listening to this word. And remember, it's the logic of Jesus Christ. It's pure grace. Amen. You don't want mixture. Don't go to church this morning where you're going to have the finger pointed at you. And somebody's going to tell you, you need to do this, you need to do that, so that you'll be pleasing to God. Run, run like the wind, bullseye, and get out of there. Amen. And find you a place that's going to teach you the truth. Okay, kids, love you. God bless you, and have an awesome day.